Hi guys, it's Christine from Glow Recipe. With the holidays coming, we thought it would be the perfect time to talk about one of our most beloved skin tricks that we introduced earlier this year called Seven Skin Method. Seven Skin Method actually kind of went viral. I think it was because it's not only a, a new way to approach your existing products, but it's also a really, really effective way to get your skin plumped up and dewy, glowing with hydration, which is a look we all want, right? All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna take you through a couple of things today. My entire seven skin rep method, and then additionally, a couple of other seven skin tips and tricks that you can do to make the routine easier and cater to your skin needs. So I'm completely bare faced right now, as you can see, blemishes and all, we're all friends here. All right, so I'm gonna scan my skin with the Way Skin device, which is a hydration analyzer tool, kind of like a skin coach. You're supposed to use this to measure your hydration levels every single day at the same time ideally to see how you're improving against yourself so it's really not about the number as much as it is about the journey and improving your skin score gradually all right so I'm gonna do this scan all right so my score is 56 I don't know if you can see that um, it's usually in between the range where I'm at. Between 40 to 60 is considered pretty hydrated and I just went did a 7 skin method last night. So it seems like my skin is in pretty decent shape. But let's see how the whole process can actually bring up this hydration level. Just used a blueberry bounce cleanser which is one of my favorite hydrating cleansers. And one tip to keep your hydration levels up is to not wipe away the moisture with a towel but to pat everything in. I'd recommend you watch the my ditch the towel YouTube video if you're curious about this technique but it's basically patting your damp face until it's just damp enough for you to start doing whatever skincare you need to do. Alright, so the whole premise behind 7 Skin Method is that you're front loading your hydration. So typically a toner in the West is considered an astringent step and it often has alcohols and different ingredients in it that will help clarify, refine pores. It was more like a second step of cleansing. In Asia, or especially Korea, double cleansing is very prevalent. So after you do the double cleanse, your skin is clean enough so that your toner step is not really about that extra wipe away cleansing. It's more about your first step of leave on liquid hydration. The great thing about using 7 Skin Method with any toner you have, preferably should be free of alcohols, parabens, like certain ingredients, um, is that because you're using liquid hydration and you're layering it in, it can really plump up the skin and hydrate it without getting greasy or sticky. And because you're getting all this great hydration up front, you can use a lighter weight moisturizer or even skip the moisturizer at the end if your skin feels hydrated enough. I'm excited to say that this 300 ml jumbo size is now exclusive to Glow. So the Misa Deep Rich Essence Toner is an amazing bouncy hydrating toner. It's one of our best selling essence toners and a lot of people started off their 7 skin journey with this product. And because there's enough of the product and it's actually in a plastic bottle which is great for the bathroom, um, you can use it to your heart's content. So I'm going to show you the classic 7 skin method and then we can talk about different ways to change it up. You're only using a few drops at a time and just patting that, kind of pushing it into the skin. And you're going to repeat this 7 times. So I just did my first layer. Don't forget your neck area. So, just finished the seven layers. As you can see, it only took a few more seconds than my usual routine to pat everything in. And now my skin is super, super soaked. It kind of feels like um, the bottom of a rice cake, as I like to say. But you see that good tack here where the skin feels very, very plumped. This is technically how your skin should be all the time. If it feels very papery, if it feels very, very smooth, but not hydrated, 
and bouncy and supple, honestly it means that it's dehydrated and dehydrated skin can cause a host of problems including breakouts, overproduction of oil, imbalance. Alright, so that was the classic 7 skin method. The other way to 7 skin is to mix it up. So this texture is very bouncy, it's loaded with aloe and different botanical extracts. This capsule essence from Blythe has lots of bean extracts in it, so it's very rich in peptides. It's great for that extra anti-aging kick. So whenever I feel like I need a little smoothing, a little bit more oomph, what I do is I change it up. Layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, and so on and so forth, so that I'm getting the benefit of both toners or essences, but it's being layered on still in a way where my skin feels very plump and very soft afterwards. Alright, the second tip is if 7 skin is a little bit too much for you, it feels like 7 times how am I going to get through this, you can start with an abbreviated method, 3 skin, 5 skin. So if you're using 3 skin, I'd actually recommend a toner like this. This toner is very very viscous, meaning that it's almost like a serum. It's loaded with really great ingredients including five different types of hyaluronic acid which make it a little bit less runny than your typical toner so if you use something like this three times in a row you'll still get a lot of hydration but once again in those lightweight layers and then also if you are a seven skin newbie and a texture like this or this you feel like it's a little bit too much for you you can start off with a super watery toner as long as it's hydrating and once again I'd recommend looking for toners without alcohols, parabens, synthetic dyes, that type of stuff in it. So this texture is very watery. You can see that dripping right off my hand. So this is a lightweight toner that still gives you a lot of hydration. It's from Make Prem called Hydrate Me. It'll still give you all that plump hydration, but feel a little bit lighter weight. All right, so for the girls who are like, okay, this is still too overwhelming, one way to do the seven skin method is with a mist. The spritzing action will make it a little bit easier to get the product on your face, and it's just quicker in general. Um, this is the awesome double mist. It has two layers because there's a layer of jojoba oil in here that's super nourishing. It's a sister brand to Amisa, which we love. And you can see I've clearly used it a lot. So it's just seven times in a row. And then you go pat, spritz, pat, and so on and so forth. So it's a little bit more quick and easy to get your hydration this way. Seven Skin is actually for every single skin type. Whether you're oily, your combination, or you're dry, I think your skin can really benefit from this technique. You just need to choose the right type of toner for your needs. And the reason is, once again, hydration is so critical to the KBD routine, but just a healthy skincare routine in general. If your skin's not hydrated and sufficiently moist, it's going to overproduce oil, overproduce sebum, and you might actually end up in a situation where your skin feels oilier than normal because your skin's trying to overcompensate. So, I'm gonna finish up my routine now with, now that my skin is super plumped with the seven skin method, I'm gonna finish it off with one of our new products, which is the Blythe Gold Apricot Press Serum. And this gives a dewy kind of glow that I think is really complementary to the seven skin. It's just this nice balm texture. And the concept of layering your products can also extend to your other stuff. So, if you're feeling like your moisturizer isn't really sinking in after you do something like the seven skin method, you can kind of double up and just pat everything in and then go over it one more time with another layer, as long as you're taking small, small amounts. Alright, so I'm going to measure my skin now after the 7 skin method. It's been a couple minutes, so my skin's not super wet. 96! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the 7 skin method, leave them below and I'll answer personally. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Get your glow on.